हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू ऑल कंप्यूटर क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज चैप्टर थर्टीन ऑफ यूनिट थ्री एंड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एमएस एक्सेल वी विल बी हैविंग टू चैप्टर्स ऑफ एमएस एक्सेल दिस इज पार्ट वन एंड दिस इज अ फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर थर्टीन टुडेज टॉपिक्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर ऑफ स्प्रेडशीट बेसिक वर्कशीट एंड वर्क बुक कॉन्सेप्ट कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ वर्कशीट right so let's begin it before talking about the important features of ms excel let me tell you a small history earlier we used to maintain the records of accounting and business in ledgers right and we used to do the calculation and all the monetary transaction in the ledgers and these ledgers were the big books and where we had big big tables right later on the need arose for what to maintain the large number of records record means number of rows right which was difficult to fit on a single page right so this led to the concept of spreading the data across the pages thus the concept of a spreadsheet came into being right so spread sheet means the sheet the data is spread from one sheet to the next sheet so that's how it is called spreadsheet right so now let's talk about important features of spreadsheet the first one is ms excel is one of the most professional and advanced spreadsheet software now what make it advanced and professional because it allow us to store organize calculate and manipulate data and this data is available in the form of tables right so we organize store calculate and manipulate data in ms excel in the form of tables right next is it provide inbuilt features and data analysis tools right so some of the features are inbuilt means provided within the software and some analysis tool that make it easier to work with large amount of data right for example we have if we have thousands of records and we want to filter some data out of uh, those records so it is very easy to use the filter tool of ms excel right so likewise there are many tools next is it has additional feature of representing data in chart forms that help us to analyze data quickly so chart shows the data in a graphical form so when you see a graphic your eye catches it very easily and quickly and you Uh, get the result very fast now broadly in this chapter we are going to learn some functions and formulas which is very important some formatting features which makes your data very presentable and some auto calculations which make your work easier right so broadly in the two chapters of ms excel we will be learning about all these things right now next is some popular spreadsheet software so ms excel you know it's a part of ms office now next is apache open office calc right then google sheet which is part of google docs then libre office calc right now starting ms excel so how do we start ms excel it is very easy you just press the windows button right now look for microsoft office so this is my office just click here you will get to see the office tools now we have ms excel here and i'll click here so this is how we can start our ms excel right this is one way to start ms excel the other way is click on the window and start searching for excel right so excel app is here we just click on it and you'll get to see your excel right so these are the two ways to open ms excel right now next is basic worksheet and workbook concept right so workbook first of all workbook ms excel is referred to as a workbook right when you open ms excel it is called workbook in which we work and store data the excel window that appears on a screen is called workbook right i'll show you in some time next is worksheet 
each workbook is consist of several worksheets right so let me show you this is a uh, ms excel in front of you so its name by default is book 1 right so this book is having several pages so pages are called sheets here sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 right and we can have more sheets by clicking on this icon right so this workbook or this book is consist of many sheets and these sheets are called worksheets right so i hope you are clear right by default sheets are called sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 and books are called book 1 book 2 book 3 right now next is components of a worksheet right so this is a a sheet in front of you a worksheet now how we can now let's talk about worksheet in detail so worksheet is a composed of very large number of cells so it is having very large number of cells you can see it right and uh, which are basic storage unit so where you will be storing your data you will be storing your data in these cells now each sheet is having having rows and column whenever you click on any cell you see two things are getting highlighted one is the column and second is row so when you click on a cell the corresponding column name and corresponding row name is highlighted and this is the address of the cell right so what is the name of the cell so this the cell name is e7 you can see here it is e7 so it is a name box when you click on any cell its name will be displayed on this name box right and this is a formula bar where you will be writing your formulas so cell which is made up of rows and column intersection of rows and column right so columns are alphabetically named and rows are numbered and the name of the cell is e4 or whatever it is displayed here when you select the cell right so these are called row headers right head of the row when you click on any row the row is highlighted right then we have column header next is active cell so what is active cell the cell which is selected is called active cell now right now which cell is active it is i5 right so i5 cell is active cell where you will be writing typing until you type until your cell is selected you cannot type over there for example i want to write here here so i won't be able to do that because my cell is not selected see where it is writing it is writing where the cell is selected right so the next is range so range is a group of contiguous cell means continuous cells so if i am selecting these cells so these are a range this is a range of a cell a range is starting from i1 to i19 so what is the name of this cell i1 and this is i16 so if i select these by dragging by clicking and dragging the mouse so this is a range of cell so it can be across the row or across the column right so this is called range of cell now next is name box i have already told you where the name of the cell will displayed this is this is formula bar that you know and sheet tab so these are sheet tabs right so we can rename them just right click over this and rename so this is class 6 a right so this is now name is 6a now right so right click rename so you just write 7th a so this is this is the way you can rename your So that's all about your MS Excel today's lecture. So see you in the next video, and uh, tomorrow we'll be learning how to create a workbook, how to create new worksheets, and uh, some more things about it. So see you in the next video. Till then, take care and goodbye. God bless you all.